and we have 12 volts so here i'm going to use this 12 volts 1500 watts inverter starting it yo and here we have 220 volts and our inverter is successfully on okay yes now it is working Finally, my drill machine. Okay. And Hi, this what you see is a permanent magnet DC motor from an air blower and in this video I'm going to test it as an electric generator. Now if we have a closer look we can notice a few things firstly the armature is on bushes and not bearings you see front and back no bearings next these are the output terminals now if we have a closer look at its label we can see 12 volts okay that is Bosch made in Germany and one last thing there is this place with which uh, we can view the inside of the armature winding so it's quite a useful piece now the motor shaft has an 8 mm diameter for which I have the exact pulley which matches perfectly see exact match and these are the screws for tightening it up although there is still one situation the pulley groove is not very thick because of which i cannot mount two belts at the same time Now I have this battery pack 42 amperes 13.26 volts DC Whoa High current motor
Now to test this motor as an electric generator, I will need a big DC machine that is going to run it at high speed with belt and pulley system. But the speed controller that I have been using to drive that machine has got damaged. So I have taken out this AC to DC converter or rectifier from the old controller and this diode is optional. This is input side and this is output side plus minus and this is my 2 kilowatts AC speed controller. So here I'm going to use this small case for temporary arrangements, placing the rectifier like this and sticking it with hot glue. Now some of you might think that the hot glue is going to melt once this heat sink is going to heat up. Well, it would have been true if I was going to run this controller for very long durations, but uh, this is temporary and I'm going to run it for testing purposes only, which is not at all continuous, maximum half an hour. So it's safe. <laughs> So here I have drilled two holes because of this big shaft and this small projection you see so simply placing it like this that's the close up and placing the nut. After that, I have drilled another hole for connecting the input wires. Here on close up, we can see the input and output. After that, I simply place this knob and it's done. Okay, now it is time to test it. So this is the 220 volt socket to which I have connected my newly made DC motor speed controller. Its output wires are red and are connected to my DC machine. See? And with the help of the belt and pulley system, see this machine is connected to my generator and finally it is time to turn it on and connect some load for testing purposes so before turning the setup on let's do the connections of the multimeter to check the generated voltage and accordingly set the speed of the motor let's turn it on so here we have a generated voltage of 6 volts seems like we will have to double the speed but before setting the knob to that exact value, let's do some load testing because I want to perform the acceleration test. Turning it on. So here I'm going to use this 12 volts 100 watts bulb for acceleration testing. Accelerating. Now to increase up the generator running speed, there are two methods. First, we can either increase the speed from the controller or we can invert the pulley for a different gear ratio. So I'm going to invert the pulley in this one. And that's done. Finally, placing the belt same as before. Okay, nice. So let's find out our new voltage, turning it on. You can see that the new voltage is 8.5 volts DC. So pretty good at the start, at the minimum. And now we can easily achieve 12 volts. So let's increase the RPM.
so 10.5 volts was the maximum that it could do because the belts were flapping way too much and it started making contact with the boundary so i have replaced uh, the old belt with a new one it is much more tighter so let's hope it works and restart the test it's at zero turning it on Seven point six. And we have twelve volts. Even after using such a tight belt, it is still flapping too much. But at least we have achieved 12 volts. So we can easily connect an inverter to convert it to 220 volts. So here I'm going to use this 12 volts, 1500 watts inverter. Now, although it is 1500 watts, it can handle a peak value of around 3000 watts. Let me give you a close up. See 1500 watts and peak of 3000 and these are the input wires point input for this positive and negative and uh, here are the cooling fans these two it's quite big and uh, that's the display unit ac output voltage dc input voltage and uh, the ac output pin out and this is for remote control i have that and alarm and power light now i have already done the polarity check and uh, if you are going to do any such project make sure that you do the polarity check because in most cases you are going to damage your inverter if it is not reverse protected now i'm going to show you this input and output because of which i'm taking this angle let's turn it on okay turning it on and here we have around low voltage I think it's low voltage alarm let's increase the RPM why is it showing an alarm again Oh, it's overload. More power is needed. Starting it. Yo, and here we have 220 volts and our inverter is successfully on. And now I can connect my 220 volts appliances. So let's start with connecting my 220 volts testing board. Should be fine. Starting with this 9 watts LED bulb, just for starting purpose. With this, we will know that the inverter has started. So turning the setup on, set zero and... And here we have the oh why did it turn off more now it should be good okay yes now it is working so let's increase the rpm a little bit because once i'm going to place more load then it is going to drop the voltage and my inverter is going to turn off. So let's increase it beforehand. Belt is flapping way too much. I'm going to need some side guiders, but let's do the test quickly. Another LED bulb. And this is a 60 watts bulb in candescent. Cool, right? Mm -hmm. 
finally my drill machine okay and Now I'm going to test my jigsaw, okay, turning it on. So it even powered my jigsaw. The setup is working quite nice. Turning it off. On. It takes some time for the inverter to turn on.